Today we're going to have some fun with tanks. Which means that some other people aren't going to have fun with tanks. Particularly those two, because they're not very strong. I could just pretend that I'm really good, but I'm not. This guy's a little bit stronger, so he's going to take three shots. Uh-oh. But you get the idea. We kill tanks, we earn money, we can upgrade our tanks, so we can get a better tank to fight bigger and better things. This poor guy's only got a little machine gun. He wasn't very tough. And now suddenly we're faced with a missile launcher tank. I feel like he could probably shoot very far, and he's probably not very good up close. Oh, can I just crawl right on his head and crush the driver? Uh-oh. He's, uh, definitely... Okay, my theory didn't work. He can hit me but actually if i sit right here uh and kind of try and avoid those i can do lots of damage to him up close actually he's not that tough uh yeah he's dead that means i get a promotion which means i get to open the chest hopefully with some really good upgrades for my tank and obviously what we want to try and level up is the gun at all times so 30 coins we're just going to level it up we don't really get to pick what gets upgraded at this point but overall everything does and this is the only tank i have right now uh there's apparently a lot to choose from and they get pretty intense as they go but for now i really don't seem to be struggling with anything and i even have a force field that i haven't used yet but as the enemies show up i pretty much just one shot them so far they're definitely going to get stronger the biggest challenge in this is probably the movement as long as you can move, you can hit people and then not be hit back. I'm going to drive right over this guy. That's how little I respect you. We're going right over top. Then this guy's another long range guy. So I feel like if I get right up in his face, he's pretty weak. Can I just continue hopping over people? That's much quicker. I do enjoy killing them, but I'm kind of all about speed. Like that helicopter was a great example. We did a flyby. I shot him once. He went about his day. Oh, never mind. He's back. So there? No, we got to fire there gonna be a little bit hard to hit him uh, especially if the level is gonna be very flat kind of sucks i didn't kill him the first time considering how rarely i get a shot at him oh we actually hit him there great and here comes the boss armadillo we're gonna wait for him probably right here because i think that's gonna have his guns pointed the wrong way so i can hit him and he's got to climb up the hill before he can hit me got him so more rewards which brings us to the rainy jungle of who cares as long as there's people here to kill i'm happy i don't know if i'm fighting in a war or just a guy on a rampage okay that was a new guy who dropped a missile with a parachute so i might have to pay attention to that Ooh, that was really close i'm gonna put my shield on now it can absorb a few hits and hopefully it's gonna eat up one of those missiles at some point because it doesn't really seem like a lot of fun to get hit by one of those i should have just gone over these idiots but well, that's fine you guys just wait right there where i can shoot you very easily that's a great plan still not really running into anything that's giving me much resistance they all die pretty quickly but we're still very early on in the game i'm gonna wait right about here for uh my friend in the jet to fly by no he doesn't want to show up that's a good angle though i could definitely hit him i assumed he was on a timer but maybe I'm wrong. Oh wait, there he goes. I managed to hit him once and he's in rough shape now. So as long as I get a lucky shot, that got him. Now we have the Hellabomber, which is an attack boss helicopter. Uh, it's probably not actually going to be that bad to defeat if the other bosses are any indication. But we'll see. I'm mostly just driving backwards and it's not really working out for me. Okay, you can only go back so far because they put a barrier up. Didn't know that. But now I do, and now he's in trouble because he's sitting right in a good spot for me. And one more shot, he's dead. That gave me enough points where I get to open another chest, which is going to reward me with mostly just experience. So the next tank has a better engine, but less armor, basically. But to get it, we need some gems, and I don't have any gems. You gotta keep scrolling to the right to find the ones with the big guns. We want to take one, one like this and upgrade it. That looks like fun. Under boosters, I have found a circular saw constantly damages enemies nearby. I think we can spend some coins and unlock it and then we can even upgrade it once with 10 coins. That seems a little better already because I noticed I was running into tanks a lot uh, accidentally and on purpose. So if you put a saw up there, I think that's just going to help me do a little more damage and... Uh yeah, then I can just go through this quicker. Hi, do you like saws? I know it sounds weird, but we're actually on the moon having a tank battle anyway, so it kind of makes sense. These guys seem tougher than they were. Uh, they can definitely push me around a little bit, but I have a secret weapon in a saw on the front of my tank. I don't know why no one ever thought of this before. This would win every war ever. Oh, look, he flipped over. He's like a turtle now. He's completely defenseless. So laser jaw might be a problem, but we're going to run into him with our big saw and see if we can just kind of tank through him. Uh, yeah, that's probably not going to work well. He's actually got a pretty good attack angle. That's going to be trouble. Luckily for me, I can respawn once with half my health. So we're going to give this another try and we're going to get a little more aggressive. With... That didn't work at all. Okay, maybe less aggression is good against laser jaw. Um, if we could get under him right here, that would be great. He's having trouble hitting me there though, so this might actually work out really well. 
and we get a bit of knockback so he stops shooting so strangely we beat him and i made the rank of sergeant so clearly i'm in some kind of army i would imagine at some point though we're gonna start to run into trouble but i need to keep collecting coins because that upgrades my tank so whoops uh yeah i've got to be a little uh less uh aggressive when I first get into fights with these guys because they end up running right into their line of fire. I just was so eager to try out my saw. Can I go right over this guy? Yeah, you don't matter anyway. <laughs> Goodbye. UFO. Flying saucer. Uh-oh. I don't know what that does. We're gonna shoot it at some point. Uh-oh. Yeah, so the enemies are definitely gonna get a little more difficult to deal with. Ooh, oh, I saw the UFO a little bit. They're not very tough. Okay, can you please just die now? Hit him once and twice. And there's another one. It never lets me go backwards. And now we got to fight him as well. Yeah, this is where we're going to start to need maybe an upgraded tank because these things are going to get strong quickly. My reward for that was only three coins. I feel like I've got a pretty good idea where I can get more though. So the first thing we did was buy 5,000 gems and then we can spend some of those on coins. Now instead of getting three coins, we just got 200,000 and 3,200 gems. So we can probably afford to upgrade them. There's 60 coins on an upgrade. Wait, why can't we do it? Need more experience? We may just need a little more experience, so we're going to go for this level, uh, and I put my shield back on because the saw was a very exciting idea, but it doesn't do enough damage. Especially against the UFOs, because they're actually flying, and uh, the saw is very close to the ground, so it doesn't make a big difference. These guys, we need a spot like this to be able to fight. We can hit them there, and one more, got him. There's another one coming in, so we're just going to take care of him really quick. And that one. So many UFOs. I need some like missiles, that would be good. Something that can auto attack the air. Because they're not that strong, but it just takes so long for me to be able to hit. And I'm clearly a very busy person. Last UFO is dead, and and another boss fight. We already defeated Laser Jaw, but that's fine. If it wants to beat, wants me to beat him again, we can definitely do that as soon as we stop rocking our tank. Oh, I didn't mean to go forward that far. That's bad. We're gonna try and get under him right here. He's gonna crest that hill, and I'm gonna try and sit right underneath him. There's so much momentum in these stupid tanks. It's, they're very hard to control, at least right now, but I think I got him exactly where I wanted him. So he's dead and we got eight whole coins. Count them, eight. But that did give us another chest, which might reward us with a new tank. Nope, just some experience. But that means we can level it up, so we're going to get a little more armor and gun. And I'm very okay with that because I want more damage. So we're going to put the shields up against these guys because they're going to hit me a lot because I was in a really weird spot and they're dead. Don't know what that is. Uh, I like how it flies right toward me though. It makes it easy to hit. I think it's only going to be one. One more enemy before the boss fight so that would be that guy this is new beholder i think if i sit somewhere right here yeah i can actually fire right up to him so that damage is pretty fun and all but i think we could do better we definitely get a pretty good increase in gun for this guy we lose it there, so yeah, let's try him. He's a much bigger tank. We don't have anything to level him up with yet because we don't have any experience. So let's go ahead and get him some of that. I think it's a little bit slower, but I don't really mind that because it should be a little more controllable. The last one carried so much momentum that I was a mess. Hi there, do you like my new large gun? Seems to work pretty well. How about you? Yeah, this tank just feels right somehow. These were the first guys that I couldn't one-shot so far. Uh, that might also depend on where I hit them. I'm not sure. But it's inevitable that I do hit them. I just need to get them in the right location. So maybe there? Yep, that works pretty good. They can hit me, but I'm pretty tough. Just another day at work. And Armadillo is back because he just can't get enough of me. Uh, I don't really have a good spot to fight him here, so I'm just going to hit him. That actually takes off like a quarter of his health, just about a third. Yep, three hits. I like this tank. And that again leveled me up, so we're going to get ourselves whatever you see here. A new common tank. Oh, we got a tank for just a reward. So that was this one, which has way less armor but more engine. So I think it's a very quick tank, whereas mine is basically slower but bigger gun. I think I'm going to try and unlock the Titan Napalm because that sounds like something that might help me out. Basically, I'm hoping I can use that to be even lazier about fighting enemies. But we'll see just how well that works. So far, we're not having any trouble killing them. There's a grenade under my track. Should I try the Napalm? Yeah, that could work out pretty good. Then it lights them on fire too. I should use that against the bosses or just things that are annoying to hit at the very least. I think we can... That's a bad spot for... Oh, they bounce. He's going to blow himself up. What an idiot. That's something I would do. I'm sad that my hat fell off. This guy's got a pretty good sized tank. Oh, he can see. Oh, there's two guys left. All right, well, we're going to try and hit both of them. This is where Napalm might be good. But the missile guy, uh, why can't we hit him? We're hitting the hill? Okay, well, we're getting up close then. Yeah, we're just going to get right in your face. Then this little guy, the levels are definitely getting harder. And I'm going to sit right where I am for this guy because I think this is going to be a very good angle once he crests that hill. Yay, this is easy. Stupid. Okay, this time I saved my Napalm for a jam. When I'm in a bad spot, I can use it. Until then, gonna try and save it. This is new, I think. It's also dead. And so are... Ooh, missed him. 
Back it up a little bit. Got him. Then, okay, we're going to shoot everything we can. Hopefully the helicopter, because that's more annoying. And got him. Going to force the helicopter to back up and then blow it up, because it's stupid. You think it would just turn around and attack me from the other side. And one more shot for this guy. Got him. Now we're going to fight Scourge, who's... um. About to come over the hill in a bad spot on me. I was really hoping to be able to push him back. Okay, we're gonna napalm him. Never mind. Well, we killed him anyway. We made it to second lieutenant, which is gonna let me open a chest, which means we're gonna get some rewards. We're gonna level up our tank. And we're gonna open up another one because that's actually pretty cheap to do. We got a new common tank uh, and we leveled up our blade and some other stuff. We got ballista. And you know what? What's one more? We have 3,000 gems to spend. I just realized we can actually get uh, experience from these. Uh, we didn't really get anything exciting there except for experience for our super tank. Ooh, we've almost leveled up our napalm too. I could open these all day because they're just really cheap compared to how many gems I have at least. It wasn't that cheap to buy them all, obviously. So then we can level him up once, twice, three times. So let's see how he does as we march into battle. That was unfortunate, but that's okay. We've got more armor now. And we're also doing more damage, so I think we can one-shot basically anything. At least I hope so. Okay, that's a really inconvenient spot to run into him. So we're just going to lower the turret down just a smidge. Got him. Oh, I think these three levels made a pretty big difference because... Well, I'm not taking a lot of damage, and that's the way I like it. I would still rather be a complete glass cannon with way too much firepower, but we don't really have that option right now. For these guys, though, you're dead and you're... wait, couldn't fire that quick. Wow, look at them all. They're just lining up to die now. It's inevitable anyway, so they might as well get it over with. All right, you're dead, and just one more little helicopter. Wait for it. Got him. In my arch nemesis, Armadillo, just can't get enough of me, so we're going to wait for him right here. He'll come over the hill, we'll kill him real dead. Don't be sh- oh, okay, this isn't a good strategy because he has that kind of gun. Can we just go over his head? All right, well, we're going to hit him with some napalm so he thinks about what he's doing, and then he's going to burn, and we're going to hit him with the big gun. So that's working out pretty nicely, but also we did unlock a new tank that's a little further down the line, a ballistic. Uh, that just fires like one big shot, doesn't it? But it's got a pretty big gun. It's hard to say which one we want. Wait, look at the gun on that. It's got lots of gun and engine, but no armor. It's a glass cannon we've always wanted. And it's called the Reaper. I mean, it just fits. So let's also open a rare chest to see what we get out of that to hopefully level up the Reaper at least a little bit. We got, yeah, we got some Reaper experience. We got some uh, napalm experience too. Let's open one more of those. We got some good stuff. All right, so let's level him up once. So we have a level two Reaper, but we can also level up the napalm. So yeah, this uh, winds up and fires like that slowly until it overheats. And it's going to be pretty quick, but we cannot take any damage at all, so this might be a horrible idea. Can you come over here, sir? I don't know if I'm hitting him or not. I don't think I am. Okay, this one whoa, will be a little bit more direct. We're definitely doing a higher damage per second, and that's always nice to do because we can just tear down waves of enemies like that, and they can walk right into my fire as I laugh at them. The gun is a little bit harder to aim, it seems like. I don't know if we're just slightly higher or it's just kind of the nature of it. Yeah, it's going to be hard as a glass cannon. I'm not really a fan of the machine gun thing. I want to go back to my other tank. It is upgraded napalm anyway, and it's kind of a more balanced build. He's definitely going to be able to take a lot more punishment, and I think the damage is probably pretty close considering I can one-shot people. I don't know if I can whoops, one-shot this guy though. He's got a bit of a bigger tank. Well, three quarters of his health. Okay, there's two idiots. I think these were the ones that killed my last tank. Oh, if you guys could stop that for a second, that would be great. Thank you. And another brilliant idiot who thinks he can fight. Whoops, missed this guy. Oh, he flipped though. Wait, I hit him with something. Something hit him with something. And here comes the boss. Wow, he's actually moving pretty quick. But he's also been napalmed pretty hard, so he's burning to death. Wow, that took off three quarters of his health. And that gave us enough experience to uh, open another little chest. So that's going to give us experience but we can also level up titan again actually two more times so he's level five out of six so more damage more armor more power which looks something like that we're back to the ufos again but i'm just gonna keep moving forward until they come to me this guy might just drive right over top of well we don't really have that luxury but we got the ufo out of the deal and that one i do like this tank the way we just hit one shot on something and then we're over it gonna try and jump shot this next guy and go Oh, it actually worked. Now we have Legion the Missile Launcher, but I can't help but notice he's a little bit slow. But we're going to hit him with some napalm. That's definitely going to finish him off. He's dead. And that's all pretty fun. But what's an epic chest? It's twice as expensive as a rare chest. So what does it come with? Okay, it comes with tons of experience for everything. Probably should have just been opening these the whole time. Well, they seem to be coming with lots of good stuff. Uh, they are a little bit on the expensive side, but we definitely get lots of experience. And for some reason, we unlocked the Tesla. 
Oh, because we actually got it rewarded here. But that also means our Titan uh, hit level 6, and there are more levels to go if we get more experience. But what is a Tesla? This is a Tesla. It fires plasma forward. It's got a lot of engine, but not a lot of gun and armor. I think it is rare, though, because it's got a purple background. These ones are orange and these ones are blue and i'm definitely driving a blue currently but i like my blue tank it seems to be going strong we've leveled it up again and we got stronger napalm again and for the most part we can just keep driving forward and hitting things as we go it's just all about the proper timing okay this guy we're probably gonna drive over because why not we're gonna hit him okay we're not gonna drive over him just kidding we're actually just gonna murder him instead the choice was his he picked it then it's another one of these flying idiots as the boss luckily for me i can hit him with napalm <laughs> never mind that was embarrassing luckily he's stupid so he's gonna walk right into where i can hit him two hits curiosity is kind of getting the better of me now so i think we're gonna try the tesla it is a rare tank so i think there's got to be something to that it's got a long attack range and i kind of like the way it moves it's a little bit smoother so i have a little more control over things i think that's actually homing like i don't have to aim that it's not the most damage in the world but it is a lot so him should die quick yeah i kind of like this how i can sit safely back here and attack them if i just got the damage up a little more this thing would be very unstoppable for these levels coins plus i think i come with a repair kit so anything that hurts me i can just fix myself up oh it's even got piercing attack yeah this thing's a little bit overpowered so if we repair ourselves oh interesting Yep, there we go. We just fixed up our damage. Okay, this guy's gonna fire missiles at me. Oh, we can hit them both. This is so much easier. I should have used this one earlier. And here comes Legion. I'm basically gonna sit here. Wait, I gotta wait for him to actually appear before I can hit him. Yeah, I could take off half his health before he's really even in range. And then he misses anyway because he's stupid. Just about got him dead. That makes me a first lieutenant. But then I kind of want to open another epic chest to see if we can upgrade the Tesla a little bit more. Might take a few tries. Uh, yeah, I did just get a new epic tank. Uh, we did upgrade the Tesla as well. Arachno. So I'm kind of wondering what it is we actually use coins for. Because we bought a lot of coins and I haven't really... I guess we use them for these, but not a hundred thousands worth. Anyways, there's the level 3 Tesla. Uh, Arachno also looks like fun because it's got a really big gun. Not a lot of engine or armor, but I bet it's good. But we need to try our level 3 Tesla because we're doing more damage now. And um, yeah, it's noticeable. It's not like insta-kill, but it's pretty close. Okay, we got three to worry about here, so we're just going to Tesla them the whole way. We're tough enough to be able to get away with this. Plus, I can repair my kit right now if I want to. This game's so easy when you buy your way through it. Here comes Legion again because he wants more of this. Goodbye. So let's see what Arachno tank is all about. This is only level 1 but it's nice and uh, easy to control its laser seems to go a long ways i guess it's just going to be a matter of how strong that laser actually is the best way to test that will probably be against the boss because most other things we tend to one shot i don't think i can actually shoot and move at the same time which is a bit of a disadvantage uh there's a bit of a drawback that we kind of shoot over people's heads sometimes so the tesla is definitely easier to aim and it does more damage. We're almost dead already too. Yeah, I don't love the way this one works. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm about to die here. So this tank is uh, not going to be used again by myself. And uh, that's probably going to kill me. Nope. But the boss sure might. Oh, I can uh, turn the grenades back toward him. Never mind, we're dead. Oh, actually, we can just repair ourselves and try it again. He even remains at one third health. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so while this was good, let's try a legendary chest. That costs four times the cost of an epic chest. And it's very fancy upon its opening. And did we get a tank? We got a common tank. I don't want a common tank, I want a legendary tank. Well, at least we can go ahead and open one more for a very slight discount. And at the very least, we're upgrading Tesla, so that's something. Do legendary tanks even exist? I didn't even think to look. We got a rare tank. That time we got Siege. Yeah, so just past Arachno is where we get into the legendary tanks like Scorpion, who does a ton of damage. Kong, Kraken, who does way big damage. 1440 gems to unlock. I don't need their stupid stuff anyway. We can just upgrade our Tesla a few more times to level... Wow, we can upgrade that a lot, level 9. Then we can change the color to green for only $1,000. And our man, we're going to put um, a top hat in because he's fancy like that. Now let's put this mighty upgraded beast to the test and it absolutely destroyed that thing and took... I don't think I even took any damage, even though it hit me. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're just going to go through the entire level doing this. Anything that uh, gets even close to me is going to get tesla real hard. They should incorporate this technology into Tesla cars. I think that would help traffic. Oh good, a hella bomber. Usually things in the sky love electricity, so you can have that. Uh, I've also taken like very minimal damage this time, so this tank is awesome. So there is also a versus mode where I can 1v1 people. Um, I did get a little 
glance at his tank uh, before we started the fight and I feel like he's outgunned. It's not really fair to put my tank against his. I would suspect though that as I level up uh, I will get to fight better guys. Yeah it goes by ranking so we were both level 1 there so we fought each other. No this is a level 6 who's um still a little bit below my level but uh i can't we'll work our way up and then we'll be past guys like this all right so it might take a little while for uh us to uh, meet some tanks that are in our neighborhood oh this guy's a little bit tougher though he's definitely oh okay he's actually a lot stronger than you might think you can't base things on appearance i mean he can still hurt us pretty good when he does hit us but if we sit where he can't hit us uh well whatever he's dead that was close though. All right, let's try another battle. Let's sit right here where he's going to have trouble because he's going to sit on the crest that hill and probably fire over me. I'm definitely going to sit here and shoot him with my Tesla coil because he's going to have troubles like that. I'll wait here. It's fine. You want to try it again? I'll give you a free shot. Nah, I'll kill you. Perfect. Okay, I can already tell it's going to be a while before we're going to be able to find anything that can match us because we're up to level 28 now and we're still fighting pretty basic tanks. They can be pretty upgraded and do a lot of damage, but for the most part, they're not going to stand up to my Super Tesla tank because I can do this. This is unreasonably unfair. He can't even make it up the hill. I just sit here and shoot him. So, sorry about that, but not really. Well, since I have the coins for it, let's open up one more legendary chest, hoping for a legendary tank. Because the Tesla is cool, and we got a rare tank, but lots of experience. So, that means we can level up our Tesla again, uh, at least one more time, and our booster also, but we could also give it some damage. We can have a force field. We can have a very strong force field. Oh, this guy's got a saw in the front of his tank. He means business. So we're going to go ahead and park ourselves right about here. Oh, he might be a little bit smarter. He didn't charge right at us. We're going to put our shield up and then he can't hurt us. And he's dead. It just gave me an achievement for being a master duelist. And that's not true at all. I just bought a really expensive tank. I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's go back to adventure mode for a second and see how this tank is going to do against the regular conventional enemies again. So far so good. I think we just made it into like area 3 so things should be a little stronger. But I have a feeling they're not really going to pose much of a threat to me. And there's coins lying on the ground which is great because we only have 95,000 left. And he's dead. Whoops. And he's dead. I might have to use a shield at some point because they can't hurt me a lot but this many enemies adds up. And again maybe not. We're at the boss already so we'll put the shield up just I don't know for fun I guess. In case he does happen to hit me. Which he might, but I mean, he's already down to half health, so we're just going to go ahead and go like this, and he's dead. It's just that easy when you spend a fortune upgrading your tank, but there's still a lot of cool tanks to see and a lot of upgrades to have. So let's 1v1 another guy. He's one level higher than me, but this level kind of actually suits his style because he has a saw in the front of his tank. So he's going to be able to get right up close to me. Uh, maybe, I don't know why he stopped. Was he just intimidated? He's dead. All right, well, let's do it again. This guy is level 54, so he's almost 10 levels higher, but you wouldn't know it to look at him because he's doing a front grid down. He brought his saw to me, which was nice, but he didn't actually use it. I don't know. They're not evaporating instantly, so we're going to need more damage somehow. 